Gravity is an illusion. There is absolutely no force pushing us down. In a sense, it's more like we're being pushed upwards. Chill out, Newton. Sure, apples do fall straight from trees, but I can show you how gravity really works. Put your cell phone in the palm of your hand. You feel a force pushing it down, right? That's not gravity, it's resistance. You feel your cell phone pushing down on your hand because you are accelerating it upwards. Wait, where the heck does this acceleration come from if your hand isn't moving at all? Well, it comes from you. Even when you're standing still like a statue, you're still accelerating upwards. It's not a sugar rush, you're accelerated because there's a force beneath you, always pushing you up. Nope, your floor doesn't have superpowers. I'm talking about the crazy pressure inside the Earth. This crazy pressure creates, well, pressure from the inside out. That generates a force that accelerates everything on Earth, including you and Cristiano Ronaldo's statue. Oh, so Earth pushes us up and gravity pushes us down, right? Wrong, because gravity isn't a force. If you're confused, blame it on this dude, Einstein. According to him, gravity is just a curvature. Simple as that. Okay, maybe it's not that simple since this curvature is invisible and it's out there in space. But imagine the universe like a trampoline. Now put a massive bowling ball right in the middle. You'll see that the trampoline has curved around this heavy ball, right? Things with mass in the universe, such as Earth, are like this bowling ball. They create this invisible, badass bend in the space around them. And this bend is gravity. Now, imagine a cat lost in deep space. If you give him a push, this cat would move in a straight line at constant velocity like poor George Clooney in Gravity, playing the worst astronaut ever. But if this cat gets closer to Earth, his path suddenly shifts. The next thing you know, the little furball's trajectory starts to curve, heading straight for our planet. What kind of magic is that? Let's go back to the trampoline. If you toss some billiard balls in there, you'll notice they don't roll in a straight line. Instead, they keep rolling around, following the curvature of the trampoline caused by the bowling ball. That means there's no imaginary hand pushing our poor cat any closer to Earth, no force whatsoever. It's exactly like those billiard balls on the trampoline. This kitty is just rolling along the curve shaped by Earth. Gravity is strange. No matter how big or heavy an object is, things always drop at the same speed. But scientists being scientists wanted to double check, so they dropped two cylinders into Earth's orbit. One was titanium, the other platinum. And guess what? Both cylinders fell in the exact same way with the exact same acceleration rate, proving Einstein was correct again. Here, take a star. Nah, he actually deserves two stars, because his gravity theory also helps us find exciting new planets, or maybe one of Elon Musk's space toys. How? Just by tracking the light. Stars shoot out beams of light in all directions, right? Normally, these beams zip through space in straight lines, but when the light bumps into a big thing in space, its trajectory bends. So it's basically following the gravitational curve of whatever that big thing is. Einstein's theory is all cool until we say one word that probably makes him roll in his grave, singularities. Before I explain what singularities are, make sure to subscribe to our channel and smash that like button. It's the only way I won't regret spending the last 300 hours studying gravity. I mean it. So, singularities. Just a fancy name for a cosmic blender. Singularities are spots where all the stuff in space gets mashed together into a tiny, super heavy point that sucks everything nearby into it. These cosmic blenders are dark creatures. According to Einstein's theory, they can only exist inside black holes where the curvature is so intense and deep that not even light can escape, making them exactly that, black. But why do singularities only live hidden inside black holes? Can we ever see one of them? At this point, the math goes bonkers. Einstein goes, peace out, and quantum theory goes, I'm ready to party. Quantum physicists have a thing for the tiny stuff. They believe our vast universe is filled of particles like atoms, electrons, and photons, but we can't see them. If that's true, those particles can create a magnetic field. Imagine this magnetic field as David Guetta. He starts playing for the particles, then more particles join the party. They keep showing up until the scenario turns into chaos. Totally Project X vibes. Particles are partying, bumping into each other, crowding around David Guetta. The big mess makes the mass big. Get it? The particles come together. The number of particles increases. The mass reaches a critical point and it generates a very intense gravitational pull, the black hole. And that's why visible singularities probably don't exist. Oh guys, one last thing. 
While you were watching the total solar eclipse, Chinese scientists found evidence that gravity travels about as fast as light. They were also observing how the sun disappears behind this huge black… By the way, what was that? That, my friend, was the moon passing between the Earth and the sun, like a gigantic cosmic sandwich. And you know how the moon stays around us and doesn't simply float away into the universe? It's because it is stuck in the spatial curve created by Earth. Yep, it's gravity, baby! 